South Shores in the Obodo Yibo contribute to divorce among the Africans. I'm saying it's like loud and clear. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile and I filmed, you know, most of my video while driving because I think that is the easiest way for me, you know. Yeah, they are sitting down quietly. They can't get out of that seatbelt. But if we are home, you know, they come, they disturb and all of that. Yes, guys. Yes, boy. Yeah. So let's talk about living abroad. Yes. <laughs> I know my people, you'll be like, tell us about it. Living abroad, stressful life, divorce, separation, everything. Everything. Let's discuss. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, guys. Yeah. Oh, oh. 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 yes, boy. Yeah, I'm on my way now to drop off in Iran. Yeah. Remember, guys, I drop off Mukhtar and Abdul Salam. Now I dropped off um Alim. So now I'm going to drop off Imran. Then I will go straight to my workplace. That is why I want to talk about this, like stressed life living abroad. Hmm. Hmm. Ko funny at all. Hey. My people, ko funny at all. Yes, boy. Yes, I can see everything. I can see everything. Stressed life living abroad. If you are not strong. <laughs> abroad is not for you. Ah, ah, but I will never discourage anyone that wants to move abroad. I beg. But <laughs> just be prepared. Okay? You have to be prepared. Because it's not going to be rosy. <laughs> for me, rosy. For Shane live back. Maybe in Nigeria. Hmm. I know what I'm talking about. I know the type of life I was living back in Nigeria. Okay? When it comes to, you know, socialization and everything. Yes. That is what I'm talking about. Okay? Hmm. It is not that... Ah, I'm friend. I'm not you know. I'm not friends. I'm not Okay? Guys, just order for me to drop off email. I'll be back. Yes. I dropped him off now. I and I said the royalty bye to me. <laughs> yeah. Royalty. Royalty. Yeah, we are all special in our ways. Yeah. Anyway, guys. Mm. I brought you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we just need that space okay to retreat of the yimbo retreat anyway we need that space to rethink okay you refill oh you can ensure no be by you to damage your lara alright you need that space to Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Stress life. Hmm. Now I drop them off. I'm all by myself. Instead of me, you know, sleeping. Hmm? Sleeping and snoring. <sighs> because getting them ready. Even getting kids ready for school for any kind of activity the last one is a share now work getting them ready for any kind of activities is like a day job okay it is not easy after that I think we need to kind of relax sit down or sleep after getting them ready dropping them off to school 
but people living in their abroad hmm? don't have that mind <laughs> people living abroad don't have the mind like over soon <laughs> you want to sleep okay sleep now may your be the wait for you hmm. you can never try making it over loss that you have bills to pay bills waiting for you it's not that i don't want to relax or anything like that but i know that something waiting for me at the end of the month or at the end of the week so not even at the end of the month every day i shop every day i shop every day for my case names i shop every blessed day so like thinking yes that i want to drop them off to school yes then i want to go back to sleep i will have to think again because the bills are waiting the bills are waiting abroad life that is why some of our people you know when they are older you know they like to go back to africa to relax because they've worked all their life in their abroad if you live in this obodo Ibo, you will work I know of people, you know, doing like two, three jobs, two, one, three, four jobs, one, just one person, one person do, doing three jobs. So stressful life and all this stress, some leads to divorce in this Obodo Imbo. Yes. All this stressful life, you know, when couple are not cooperate, the stressful life add to divorce level in the in this obodo Ibo, in the diaspora yeah stress life add to it yes because you know sometimes husband we go to night shift wife we stay with the kids okay while the husband is at work the husband will come back in the morning wife is ready you know with her bag waiting for the husband outside to exchange the husband will go inside look after the kids while the wife jump in the car to go to work even sometimes husband and wife they don't have any time to sit down talk together you know plan together all in the name of we are living abroad and uh, child care also with rip their pockets so that is why some couples you know they prefer one go out the other one stay in with the kids why the other one comes back and the other one will go out yeah that is abroad life that is abroad life stressful stressful yeah after all this the wife will not see the husband maybe they don't have any time the wife wife will not see husband during the day husband will not see the wife during the day because they want to make living they want to make they want to earn they want to pay their bills hmm. abroad life guys hmm. you guys i don't know people living in the abroad we understand we understand this that i'm talking about abroad life it is not easy it leads to divorce. It leads to separation among the black living in the diaspora. How does it contribute? Okay? How does stress life in the abroad contribute to divorce? I'll tell you. You know, we have some of our men, okay? Some of our men, our African men here, that they still think, you know, all this house job, is for the woman they have not changed their thinking about letting women doing all the house shows no they think all the house shows is for the woman the woman must do it just imagine husband is going to work okay after going to work you come back you just want to sit down you don't want to assist in like nothing you don't want to do anything and the wife also go out comes back and you still want the wife to do all the chores all the house work while you do nothing 
both of you are contributing to the family and doing this like contributing to the family even housework also is for the family is for the both of you okay for the both of you you should be happy to assist but if you want to sit down and do nothing and let the woman do everything the woman will be stressed the woman will be stressed and it will get to a stage she will be like what is it then you will start having you know issues arguments will be coming in okay the stress level will lead to separation okay it will definitely lead to separation house shows in the obodo Yibo contribute to divorce among the africans i'm saying it's like loud and clear because some of the men some of african men don't want to assist their wife or in the name of i'm the man of the house yeah so that is why sometimes when i when some people are saying ah don't bring your wife or when they come to bodo Yibo, they will be they will be your boss they will never listen to you because they know bodo Yibo is for the woman or bodo Yibo is for the woman not like that no men needs to be ready to assist otherwise stress life <laughs> stress life living in the diaspora lasso otito that is break up marriage the marriage will be gone the marriage will be gone that is just the truth that is the truth guys the marriage will finish before you know it anyway guys i will stop here we continue this i can't even finish this topic today stress life living in this abroad stress life living in the diaspora contributes to higher level of divorce among the africans living in the diaspora yes so we just need to change this that is the way we need to change this our men please start to help your wife help them this abroad it is not easy for women only to be doing everything in the house it is not easy i am just saying it it is not easy please if you're planning you know moving abroad with your wife with your family please go with your full heart you know be in be in fully assist your wife do things together do things together so that everything will work out for you for good everything will work out for you for good but if you think you want to be doing it like no she is supposed to be doing this she's supposed to be doing that man it will come to a stage that the woman will just you know step back it will come to a stage that the woman will tell you enough is enough okay because it is not easy it is not easy for woman doing it alone it is not easy it is tiring it is killing it is not easy so you really need to help your wife you need to work together to be successful to have a successful marriage you need to work together with your wife in this obodo Ibu. otherwise otherwise before you know it hmm. anyway guys i think i have to stop here and i will see you all guys in my next video Love.